We're flying backwards. How did that occur? Welcome back to AV Assembly, everybody. Last time we played the demo where we made deliveries to make money to make more planes. But today the full version of the game has come out and there's a sandbox mode and here's all of our locations. Let's start with something we haven't seen before. So let's go snow. We'll leave infinite fuel on because in today's video, my goal will be to make the most Concorde-esque plane that we can. Let's just get into it. This is probably going to be quite the challenge. So starting with our cockpits, like as I was saying, we're in sandbox. So we have basically anything we want. This is definitely the most Concorde nose E one, although it's not perfect, but you know, we have to, we have to work with what we have here. So let's get our fuselage going. We need something kind of long, long and skinny. Let's extend this out to some extent. We need to get some Delta type of wings as well. Let's see. Can I, oh yeah, that's not what I want. There we go. Okay. Now we need something to kind of cap this off to some extent. Let's make this a little longer but then make it come down. We'll get our Concord image here as well so I can kind of have some comparison. This is what I'm looking at, just for reference for you guys to help me with this. Now, that for length in proportion to the cockpit size, I would say is roughly correct. I also don't know how advanced we can get with this. Maybe we should make an SR-71 in the next video if you guys wanna see that. Let me know. Let's see what wings we have. Now, this is my first time in sandbox. So big wing looks like what here? Okay, so like a kind of a generic airliner wing. That's not what we want. Delta wing. Okay. This is this is more along our idea here, but it needs to be completely different in size. So oh, this is going to be tough, I think, folks. Two weeks later. Okay, guys, look, no need to ridicule me. All I'm trying to do is get the silhouette. <laughs> There's like 12 layers of wings. All I'm trying to do is get the silhouette uh, somewhat correct. And we've kind of done it. Uh, kind of, right? It's close-ish. So our wings are kind of done. We need some kind of tail here, though. Now, the Concorde does have a pretty big tail. So I just put a Delta wing up there. And hopefully it knows that it's vertical and I can still use the rudder. But if not, at least the look is uh, semi-right. Okay, but now it's on to engines. I don't know. Okay, jet engine. Oh, this one's like actually perfect. Oh, this is so good for Concorde. Okay, so Concorde obviously has four engines on the back here. Oh, that's not what I want. On the bottom of each wing. Can I mirror this? Okay, here we go. Now let's position them. We'll have to do this one more time to get the other ones in place. A little bit wider and then a little bit up. So it is now in a good spot. We'll get one more set here. Let's fix their positioning as well. And that is just about perfect for our engines oh some are upside down some are right side up let's hope the air intakes aren't too bothered by that this is coming together better than i assumed it would but unfortunately for us we do need some kind of landing gear i have concord pulled up with its gear out so we have four wheels so we can use this on the back and then the nose wheel we can use that and i think it'll match it that's so big maybe we should have scaled up the whole thing but we really don't have many options whoa why are engines who moved our engines i mean if that's not concord I, I don't know what is just ignore the just ignore the jumbled mess in the back okay drag let's see what we got honestly not too bad let's check our center of gravity Okay, I, I mean, the center of gravity is over the wing. It is over our wing. I think if it was kind of in the middle, our lift would be too far behind it. I think we might be okay here, folks. Okay, 
Concord, AV assembly, test flight. Let's see what happens. And here we are, everyone, moment of truth. What I'm realizing is we have a very steep climb out of here. Now, what I am worried for is, well, I guess that's number one worry. That center of gravity is very far back. Maybe we can change the location of the landing gear. And secondly, we used wings in their incorrect orientation, and we also used a wing as our tail. So, will that screw up how this put? Oh my, this thing is quick. Oh, oh. Okay, let's restart this real quick. We broke, I think it was the glider wings. Let's try it again. Let me go a little gentler, and then we can fix our, our glider wing issue. Just a little bit of power here. We obviously have plenty to get off the ground. There we go. And what is landing gear? G? Oh yeah, gear up. Let's try to get into level flight here before I go full power. And again, we have unlimited, uh, what's it called? Fuel, too. So thankfully, we don't have to worry about that. Now, does this look... Something is off about this. Oh, no. Okay, so again... Oh, no. That's the glider wings, which understandably are having some issue. Come on, stop. Don't do that. I think they're compensating a lot of our lift here. Yep, slow down. I will not slow down. Oh, there they go. Okay, and be okay. So maybe they're having more trouble because our engines are mounted to them. Let's go back to the drawing board. Six and a half hours later. I'm so confused. I loaded in. Why is our, well, our our wings aren't breaking. We're flying backwards. How did that occur? Oh, our engines. Our engines may or may not be facing the wrong direction. Ignore that. Sorry. Okay, we've loaded back in. Sorry about that last one. Does this look more Concord-like or less? Also, we have not fixed the center of gravity issue. We also have something interesting that added on right there that you guys will see in a second. Anyway, no more glider wings. These wings look more like a J-35 than a Concord, but we're going to ignore that. Throttling up. We should be able to go a lot. Oh, yeah. G, gear up. I'm very interested to see our max speed as well. We're already going much faster than we did before. Those glider rings, rings, wings really slowed us down. We're also perpetually turning left. That probably has something to do with the wings being um, oriented all wrong. Okay, max power. Here we go. Let's see how high we can climb as well. Why not? I mean, it's looking pretty snazzy. No afterburners to be seen, though. Up, oh, wing stress. Let's not go quite as crazy. Up, oh, more wing stress. Up, oh, we broke it. We're a glider. Where's a freaking airport? Only have we only have our nose gear. Oh no, it's over for us. It's over for us, folks. Okay, we do have. We have to have at least one successful flight here. Okay, loaded back in, everybody. Throttle up. We're we're gonna be more gentle with our home created concord this time i don't know why they put a massive mountain right where the uh, airport is supposed to be can we do an aileron roll oh that's a little scary maybe we'll get a little more speed up and try one hopefully i don't break my plane either come on come on yeah that's not happening that is not happening okay let's get our map open see if we can find um find an airport and we'll do a quick little journey across the map in our Concorde. Okay, folks, gears down. We've arrived back at our normal airport because, in all honesty, I could not find another one. Now, I did enjoy making this plane. It has been thoroughly fun. But I would like to make more. So I need to know, do you guys enjoy these kind of videos? Messing around with planes, making them, seeing my stupidity... But more importantly, which plane should I try to make next? I mentioned the SR-71. Okay, let me focus here for a second. You also see this special contraption on the back of my plane in use, hopefully. Okay, I up, 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 idle throttle. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of reverse thrust. Oh my gosh. Okay, our parachute somewhat worked. Anyway, answer those questions in the comments. Thanks for watching. Also, I have a cameo, so go cop a cameo for 10 bucks, which is not worth it. Shameless plug. Thank you for watching.